things can get even more interesting of gravity. Okay, what do you have in mind? Now, let's assume I have this marble and it represents the moon. And I have this medium sized metal ball which represents the earth and this large metal ball representing the sun. We can do some neat things with this. Wow, sure, show me. So, let's push the earth and the moon together around the sun. What can you see? Well, I can see that the moon is orbiting the earth and the earth is orbiting the sun. Let's see that again. Yes. That's correct. But the question is, how can we explain this phenomenon? Ah, okay, this one I know. Basically, what happens is this. The earth is causing a small dent in the fabric of space and time, resulting in the moon being pulled around and orbiting the earth in the so-called well or dent. But because the sun, massive mass, is also causing a dent in the fabric of space and time, there is this larger well that is also pulling both the earth together with the moon to go around the sun. Yes! In fact, there is an even bigger dent or well in the center of the Milky Way galaxy due to the existence of a supermassive black hole. It is called Sagittarius A wow. with a mass of 4 million suns oh, million? or 4 million solar masses that is causing the sun and billions of other stars to orbit around this supermassive black hole. So the moon orbits the earth which then orbits the sun and the sun orbits around the supermassive black hole in the middle of the galaxy. And all of these are caused by the bending of space and time at each location due to the mass of the objects. Precisely! How amazing is that, isn't it? Sure is! Okay, let's show another experiment. If I were to push two marbles together at the same time, around the match brother ball, what do you see? Okay, well I can see that at first they are orbiting together, but now they are splitting apart as they go around the large metal ball. But after a while, see, you see them splitting apart, right? So what do you think uh, caused this split, Mr. Newton? Well, here is what happens. At first, the two marbles are stuck together as they orbit the central metal object because the gravitational pull between them is strong, enough to keep them together. However, as they pick up speed to a steeper slope near the metal object, the increased velocity is enough to break the gravitational force that they are exerting on each other. Hence, they split apart. Okay, you can see them splitting apart. There you go. See? Alright, so that is really interesting to see, Mr. Newton. In summary, the effect of gravity on the orbit of celestial objects are as follows. Celestial objects orbit one another due to the effect of gravity. Gravity creates a dent or well around a massive object and other objects with velocity get pulled to move around the massive object in this well. Hence, the Earth creates a well around it making the smaller, less massive moon to orbit the Earth around this well. Similarly, the more massive Sun creates an even bigger dent or well around it and the Earth, the Moon and the other planets orbit the Sun around this bigger well. Finally, the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A in the center of the Milky Way galaxy creates an even more humongous well resulting in all the stars in the galaxy to revolve around it in this massive well or dent of the space-time fabric. Next is why celestial objects got separated. In our example, the moon got separated from the earth as the two objects came closer to the sun. This is because as the objects get closer to the sun, the well or dent get deeper, resulting in higher velocity of the two objects of the earth and the moon. The increased velocity at that stage is large enough to overcome the weaker gravitational force between the earth and the moon. This results in both objects breaking apart from each other and taking on a different orbit. Thank you.